Hello everyone, in this video I'll talk about planning you have to do when you start a programming project. So before we get started with this, don't forget to smash that like button right now and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. If you follow all these steps, you should have a documentation that you can use uh, to guide yourself uh, when building this project and also you can uh, use to share your idea with others. So the first question you have to ask yourself is what are you going to build? If you are like me, you probably have a lot of ideas you want to code. But before moving to actual coding, you have to uh, have a very clear idea of what you want to make. After you pick your idea, go into your documentation file and write like two, three sentences describing what are you going to build. Uh, if you go to every company, every service, you find this on their front page. It's like two, three sentences max that tells you what that service is about. So I put uh, some examples of this right now on the screen. The next question you have to ask yourself is what technologies will you use? You know what are you going to build? Now it's time to pick your tools. My recommendation here is to pick technologies like libraries, programming languages, services uh, that you are familiar with or you can learn easily. There are different technologies for different use cases so you have to do your own research here and figure out what's the best technology for your app. For this, try to balance what you already know and are familiar with, with what your app really needs. For example, if you want to build a mobile app and you are into web development, you can look into things like uh, React Native or Ionic. Next, you should ask yourself, what features will it include? This is where you get into the real planning of your app. Your goal here is to figure out what you are actually making. Things like what it will look like, what feature, what the features will it include, what features it won't include, and things like that. First thing we can do into uh, figuring this out is start making wireframes. Wireframes are, are like sketches that uh, look like the thing you are making, but uh, with no coloring and uh, actual sizing and things like that. You can do them on uh, paper or using uh, a software. Now we can use those wireframes to help us make a feature list. So the previous step was the features will it include. Now we'll talk about the feature it must include. So in this step we have to decide what, which features are the most important for our program and we'll start with those. You can use something like uh, P1, P2 and P3 to like prioritize your features where P1 is most important, P2 is uh, like medium and P3 is I, I don't bother with that and I never look at those features. So now I think it's the most fun part where we talk about how we actually implement those features. So you have an idea of what you want to build, you have some wireframes, you have a feature list, but you actually have no code and no program so far. So one way to figure out exactly how are you going to build those things is to uh, break it down into things like objects, user interaction, user data. So again, you can use pen and paper to draw your architecture and have a bigger picture of what you are going to build and uh, how all these features are going to interact with one another. I recommend you go on Google and try look into some best practices for what you are building with uh, the programming languages you are using, technologies you are using, libraries and so on before you start. Always do your research before you start building something. And now moving to the last step and that's a very important step so don't just skip it and uh, say ah, now nah, I don't need that because you need that. That step is planning. 
it's building your timeline so this means like how much time i i allocate to this project uh, how many weeks should it take how much time i work every day and things like that so you should plan every week so at the end of every week you uh, have something okay so you can say okay this week i where i'm working on this feature or i want to achieve this and at the end of the week you go ahead and look and see you if you have uh, achieved that and if not maybe you adjust your timing accordingly figuring out timelines is pretty difficult so uh, what you should do you should always like add a little more time for the bugs and all the debugging uh, we all get okay for sure you will get better on uh, timing things and predicting how much time it will get so if you are just starting with this don't bother much with this and uh, learn along the way how much uh, time it takes you to build certain stuff and uh, for sure uh, your planning will get better with time so to draw a conclusion here uh, plan your things don't just uh, go into coding right away uh, choose your technologies wise and do your research about those don't waste too much time on a lot of features focus on the most important features to build your mvp and get feedback for that so that was it for today guys don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe right now mm -hmm.